Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. Today is December 1st. I'm um, sorry, December 31st. I can't talk today. Um, so December 31st, New Year's Eve, and we are looking at moving into uh, 2022, a new year, a brand new year, and um, brand new semester coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I hope we all get started with that, and I hope you all had a great holiday weekend and are going to enjoy some uh, some fun times tonight as we uh, celebrate the coming of a new year. Our daily Bible readings for today are Psalm 147, 12 through 20, 1 Kings 3, 5 through 14, and John 8, 12 through 19. I'm going to do John 8, 12 through 19. Jesus spoke to the world once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you don't have to, you don't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads the, the light that leads to life. The Pharisees replied, You are making those claims about yourself. Such testimony is not valid. Jesus told them, These claims are valid, even though I make them about myself. For I know where I came from and where I am going, but you don't know this about me. You judge me by, my, by human standards, but I don't judge anyone. And if I did, my judgment would be correct in every respect, because I am not alone. The Father who sent me is with me. Your own law said that if two people agree on about something, the witness is accepted as fact. I am one witness, and my Father who sent me is the other. Where is your Father? Jesus asked. Jesus answered, I'm sorry. So you don't know who I am. You don't know who my Father is. If you knew me, you would also know my Father. So uh, I'm, I have really bad reading skills in light and life. That was uh, a challenge for me. So that's why these DBRs are fun. They challenge me. So um, Jesus is... You guys know that cocky kid you you went to high school with who was like good at everything, and or at least they thought they were good at everything. And someone would be like, you know, that's not all true. You know, you, you know, you got to work on this, that, and the other. Well, Jesus is like that kid, except Jesus is good at everything. And Jesus, everything that Jesus is saying that he can do, he can do, and he knows that he can do it. But and the crazy thing is, is what one of my favorite um, verses in this is he said. For I know where I come from and where I'm going, but you don't know this about me. You judge me by human standards, but I do not judge anybody. The reality is, Jesus wasn't a, Jesus wasn't a normal human. <laughs> Jesus wasn't. Um, when Jesus walked the earth, Jesus taught us what it's like to live as human among the presence of God. And, um, you know, he says that, since you do not know who I am, you do not know my Father. Because the reality is, if we don't accept Christ, we can't know God. Okay, we can't accept we, can, we if we can't accept Christ in that story and what He can do in our lives and give our hearts to Him, we can't really truly know God. And that's a that's a fact of the matter. So coming into this new year, I um, if you haven't made that decision yet, I don't want to encourage you to talk to somebody. Don't don't I don't want you guys to make the decision and not know what decision you're making. I want you to talk to somebody. Um, come in here and talk to Keith. He'll be he'd be happy to do that with you. Come and go to go to your local pastor, go to anybody, and just ask them what does that decision mean. And I'm sure anybody <clears throat> anybody can tell and anybody in the church and anybody who is is ministering in God's word can t can answer that question for you. And um, and I want you guys to study more into it of what it means to truly know Christ in that story. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all uh, have a great kickoff to your new year, and I will see you guys next Friday. Peace.